Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Breitling Super Ocean 44 with 2000 meter water resistance and helium escape valve. You can see and you can purchase this extreme dive watch on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this watch with accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop and naturally complete pricing details for this extreme deep diving Breitling. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, this is the pre-Super Ocean 2 look. This is the look that was current right around 2011. The particular watch right here actually is of 2014 construction. So you're looking at a watch between the original modern Super Ocean at 2011 and the redesign at 2015. And my goodness, what a watch. It's incredibly hefty, solid. It inspires confidence, and I'll get into that a bit more in a second. But 44 millimeters across the round of the case, not inclusive of the crown or crown guards. The watch is fairly thick. Now, 17 millimeters, that's a tall timepiece, but it does have a cup shaped case back, so the tail of the caliper doesn't really express how high it sits on the wrist. That domed case back, you can see it more or less just nestles into the wrist when you have it strapped down. So think of it as more like a 15 millimeter thick watch for cuff clearance purposes. Now, from lug to lug, it's big. 53 millimeters from lug to lug means that this is a timepiece that you're going to compare to the likes of Omega's Planet Ocean 45s and Rolex's Deep Sea. If not in price, then certainly in stance and value. And value is a big deal with this watch, and let me explain it. It looks big and it feels like a tank on the wrist. What I love about Breitling in terms of ergonomics is that you feel like you're wearing a bank vault. This is almost irrespective of the line or the era. Breitling watches are just solid. Now the bracelet nicely counterweights the case, which is massive, and you can see that. It's a little bank vault in its own right. But thankfully, it's uh, supported by a battleship anchor. And the clasp itself, substantial, polished internal, its swing arm, clasp body, and the secure clamshell closure ensure that not only is this one gonna stay on your wrist, but it counterweights the weight of the watch head nicely. So if you like to wear your watch a little bit loose with perhaps an extra link in the bracelet, this is a great one for that because it doesn't have any mind of its own. It doesn't want to travel, it doesn't want to porpoise, it doesn't want to capsize. And you can see professional two bracelet, asymmetrical slash cut, bigger links down the center, and a nice satin finish. Many like the substance you get with my modern Breitling, but they don't like the profusion of high polish metal. And while this one does have a polished case, there's a combination of satin and polish that nicely offsets the gleam. So this watch is beautifully balanced and it has a phenomenal combination of white metal and black dial with black bezel insert. Now, let's get this off my chest right now. 2,000 meters with a helium escape valve puts this in a completely different category than, for instance, an Omega Seamaster 300 or a Rolex Submariner. Now, this watch is, quite frankly, accessible at a price point below even those, and what you're getting is incredibly substantial. Yeah, there's the weight, there's the quality of the bracelet, the clasp, and the case, but how about this? The bezel is fixed on by screws, and you can see them inserted laterally. This is the reason that it's difficult and time-consuming to remove a bracelet dive watch's bezel because quite frankly it doesn't simply snap on and off like a Rolex or Omega. Now maybe that creates more work for your watchmaker but it's to your advantage as an owner. Moreover when water testing these watches, water testers that require on compressing the case first to test the decompression of the case to determine water resistance will fail on this watch. It has to be used in a certain specialized hard case setting and pretty much all Breitlings require the same. Very substantial, again, not just in feel and look, but also in engineering. Now the bezel insert is a rubberized insert, which is nice because it creates a matte black base that matches the dial, but also because it's more scuff and scratch resistant than an anodized aluminum insert. This is a watch that offers a compelling value proposition, but most dive watches in this price class feature either a lacquered bezel or an anodized bezel and both are susceptible to scratches. Vulcanized rubber in practice has proven to be much more durable, hiding scratches, scuffs, and resisting tears. Now the dial is gorgeous. The first thing you note is there's a very subtle Rayhot outboard with a railroad track. That's a handsome, beautiful transition from the bezel down to the dial base. It's the kind of detail that reminds you, although this is a brute, it's a beautiful brute and beautifully detailed with the matte of the 
dial base matching it for elegance. This could easily be an excessive glossy surface, but Breitling's gone for contrast and utility. The only thing gleaming will be the hands and the indices. Now it's also worth mentioning that in terms of gleam, some dive watches glow and some dive watches simply explode. This one is in the latter category. Its loom shouts out. It explodes from its dial in low or no light to the point that if you put it next to a severe light or you wear it outside and then walk indoors, you can see it glowing even in the ambient light, even in a lit room. It's very impressive. It's what you expect of a dive watch. Now the caliber inside is Breitling's tried and true chronometer grade caliber 17. It's an ETA 2824 and again, chronometer grade, it's thicker and tougher than the 2892, which makes it just about the perfect automatic caliber for a dive watch like this. 42 hour power reserve, smooth bi-directional winding. If you pull the it does stop the balance, allowing you to synchronize the seconds hand and time the watch to the second and the minute against a reference time. There's also a quick set that allows you to cycle the date so you can rapidly correct it should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. This watch offers a lot of value and with the combination of the black accents, the white metal, and a full bracelet, it's about as versatile as a dive watch comes. Traditionally sized, beautifully built, you can see and you can purchase it on our website.